a very straightforward tree diagram question. They all seem to be set out like this last few GCSE exams. You've got some tree diagram to fill in and then one question to answer to pick up a relatively simple four marks from question 19. So Wendy can win, or Wendy does not win, there's no other possibility. So if Wendy wins is point four, then she won't win is point six. And in a different game, she's got a chance of point three of winning, so her chance of not winning is point seven. So these branches always come to one. Now, some students get confused with this and think there's got to be something different, but nothing's changed. She's just having a coconut game, and we're considering it with her having lost um, a hoop game. The games do not affect each other. Okay, so she, the, the, the properties are consistently laid out for you. So she plays a game of coconut, her chance of winning is 0.3, and her chance of losing is 0.7. It does not tell you it's affected by the hoop game. So that sets out the problem. Now, work out probably that when he wins a hookah, he also wins on the coconut tree. So it's 0.4 times 0.3, because it's win a hookah, it's hookah and coconut. And we should know in probability that the and rule is multiplied. So it's 0.4 times 0.3, that gives me 0.12. That's my answer. That's easy, four marks there.